Here at the Arabuku Sokoki Forest at the Kefri Nursery, um, we've been called by KWS to come and assist with the python. It was it was seen here earlier this morning. Uh, they tried to chase it further into the into the forest, but unfortunately, it's coming to the nursery side. As you can see, there's a lot of people that work here. So they've asked us to come and assist them with with capturing it, and then we're going to try and relocate it to another location within the forest. I'm here with the KWS. Um, my name is Yeah, today in the morning I was told, informed by one of the best uh, people who are in the nursery that there's a python. And that python was uh, causing a lot of anxiety to the workers. So we decided to uh, have a person who can capture it very well. So that can be relocated inside the forest. Because I'm a manager for staff, but not to be. So we decided to call him the person. No, that's very good. Yeah. So is it a lot of it? Sir? A large snake. Is it quite it a is very, very good. Yeah, it's about uh, three meters. Okay. Yeah, three meters. Okay, fine. So let's just show me where it is and you can see the rest of the snake. Okay, fine. Let's just show you where it is and you can see the rest of the snake. Okay, fine. Let's just show you where it is and you can see the rest of the snake. Okay, fine. Let's just show you where it is and you can see the rest of the snake. Okay, fine. Let's just Na uko barabarani huko. Wacha wacha hapa. Ni kwa Junga, can I just mind your head? Hey! Just I'm a luma fish. 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 Lakini haina sumu wewe watu utaki kusikia haina sumu haina sumu haina sumu Haina sumo manake nini? Kabisa? Haiwezi kakuwamu. Nimesema mimi niko nataka mguu wangu ituma mtu itauma mimi. Okay, so we're here um in the thick part of the Arabuka Sokoki forest with uh John Ware from KWS. Uh, this is a python that we caught earlier this morning near the KWS headquarters here. Um, so the idea now is just basically we're going to let it go. It's a nice place. There's no, there's no, it's very far from any homestead or anywhere where it can cause people. We noticed the snake was actually quite thin, not 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 very strong. Probably because it's been it's been underground for about six months. Now that the rain has come, it's come out. So it will really need to eat something if it stays there. It will eat someone's chickens, goats, it causes all sorts of problems. So here's a nice place, we'll let it go, there's plenty of light. And then we just really wish it, yeah. wish it the best. We've got to be very careful with the chicken, because in a new condition, you have to see the sun up and get it It's a big head, but it just grab the body gently there. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. And just let him go. I forgot to do that again. You see this injury here? Yeah. Good. 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 So that's a good job. That's a very good job. Well, thank you, John. You've done a good job. You know, yeah, a lot of those guys will just will just kill it when yeah, you see just, that. In fact, they just wanted, but this guy stood with it. In fact, the guy, the one who told me that the next part here. Well, I know Peter quite well. He's been with forestry here for for many years, and yeah. in fact, my teacher. Mm. James Ash and him were, were friends. Were great friends, yeah. 